Let's debut City Defender Geiner. Actually, let's turn down the volume first. That should be good there, I guess. Okay, so City Defender Geiner. This is a game that I have been working on for the past month for the 2014 Indie Game Maker Contest being put on by RPG Maker and Humble Bundle. And uh, the deadline has passed, and now we are into a week of, I guess, player choice testing and voting, I guess is, is what's going on here. So uh, I will provide a link for you if you want to download and play the game. This isn't going to be a video so much about me talking about design and uh, just the whole process of things. I'm going to save that for a separate video on my other channel. This video was basically just to play the game and show it off a little bit. So let's get started. And uh, originally I had intended for this mission select screen to sort of unlock as you completed one mission it would then unlock the rest but uh, I was really I, I had like five hours to spare uh, by the time I had finished this game and I just didn't feel like doing this and frankly I think for the testing and judging purposes having these all unlocked is fine anyway so that you can jump around and I'm probably going to do that uh, myself here so let's get started with the first mission so basically this is sort of a top-down maze game where we take the role of Geiner which is this giant robot and we are tasked with defending the city from these enemies that spawn off-screen okay. and uh, So you can see down there at the bottom, as I'm destroying enemies, I am earning points. I can also destroy these buildings, and uh, that'll actually work against me. The enemies can also destroy the buildings sometimes. But as a building is destroyed, uh, it accumulates damage, I guess, to the city. And so even though I can completely clear a city of enemies, I might still lose the mission if too much damage has been done and too many buildings have been destroyed. So there is kind of a balance that needs to be maintained and you can't just really sit around and wait for the enemy to come to you and that's a little bit of a bug there where those two tanks were on top of each other. I don't know why that happens. Uh, Laser. I mean, when there's only a few enemies, or when there is a large variety of enemies, like if I had seven enemies that were all different on screen, they would behave normally, and their collision detection would just be fine, but when you've got like seven of the same, for some reason, it just can't handle it, and it causes some uh, weird things. Wow, we didn't destroy any buildings that mission. Good. Uh, so, that's that type of mission where there's a set number of enemies that come on screen uh, it makes up the majority of them but some of the missions like I guess number three here is a little bit different so he's telling us here that these little towers that you can kinda see have been erected in the city and so whereas the other missions have a set number of enemies that will spawn and come on screen missions like this will have a continuous stream of enemies so long as these towers are up. So we have to destroy all of these towers and then clear the stage of enemies before I can win. I'm actually going to leave that one up. It is possible that the enemy will destroy them. And unlike other buildings, when the beacons or the uh, signal towers are destroyed, you actually get points rather than uh, damage. Okay, so this is a good situation here where if I want to get over to that road on the other side, I might actually want to just plow my way through this house or that gas station. The gas station is sort of a special building because it will actually blow up and deal damage around it. I guess I can show that off. Yeah, and I just dealt damage to myself, so that was good. Um, and damn it. 
not doing so well. In these early stages, they're really... Yeah, see those two just phased through each other again. Don't know how to fix that, and I don't know why it happens. So that is one of the permanent bugs, I guess, of the game. It might just be how I set up the, uh, the collision to... Whoa, get out of the way! Damn it. Well, I need to get rid of that tower. Okay. All the towers are done. So now I can just take my time. A couple buildings have already been destroyed here. Actually, I think those are just... Frick. Okay. Well, anyway. Let's go to one more. Let's try... Let's try mission 10. So, in this scenario, it's kind of like the other scenarios where there's a set number of enemies on screen. But this time, we have to protect City Hall, and the level is designed so that the enemies will come and fire upon it. And so if I let them have their way for too long... Got too close to that. Uh, they might end up destroying City Hall. Okay, and we got UFOs in this level. Those guys are bastards. Because they fire continuously in all directions. The UFOs... Shit. UFOs are most likely... To destroy a lot of stuff. It's important not to just constantly stream bullets and overshoot because, like at that gas station or that office building right there, you might fire too much and it will accidentally cause a building to be destroyed. So this might be a scenario where I win. Shit. I meant to turn around before firing that. Uh, I might win, but I might also lose just be because... I'm destroying too many buildings. Shield. Get that shield. There we go. Whew. Kind of close. Okay. Well, anyway. Those are the three types of missions, and they all sort of combine in the final mission here, where uh, there's both the towers and the city hall, so the challenge is to defend city hall, destroy the towers to stop the enemies from spawning. It's actually not that difficult, at least I haven't found it that way, because I managed to beat it on my first time through. The trick on the tower missions, though, is just to go and destroy the towers as quickly as possible. But uh, along the way, you have to destroy the enemies, otherwise mayhem ensues. So uh, anyway, that's been a quick look at the game. I will provide a link if you want to download it and play it for yourselves. Um, if you like it, please go to the page and vote for it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.